No Bassett, man, this was kind of like your state finals in a sense, man. I mean, talking to you coming into this, it's like Iron Man was fun, Iron Man was cool, but like this was a really Pennsylvania state tournament for you. Was that playing in your mind coming into here? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, you hear everybody talking about it, and uh, definitely a really great opponent, Louis. Uh, PA, one of PA's best. Um, and we battled a lot along the years, and uh, it, it was cool to battle at such a high, high stage, high level. It, it was a lot of fun. You know, he kind of got in on you a little bit. You know, you were okay giving up those points because your pace was just relentless. Right. Yeah, I know it's a long match. Um, that's one thing I really enjoy about getting older is the matches get longer. So uh, I know, like, you know, there's a give and take, and I know that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to hopefully score them points and, and more uh, if, if I'm giving them up. So. You guys both were just bleeding like crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure where it came from, uh, but my nose was, was gushing. His was too. Uh, nose plugs everywhere. It was wild. Semifinals. You, it was a little bit tighter than usual, right? Right, right. That was kind of a weird matchup for you, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. What, were any, you know, nerves out there? Um, well, I'm pretty sure that guy is previously from PA, so again, yeah, there's another yes, PA yes. stud, um, but now he's down at Lake Highland in Florida, and uh, yeah, you know, didn't score as much as I wanted to. The goal is always to score as much as I can. I only got five, um, which is really low for me, but again, I wrestled a smart and, and good match, and uh, I feel like I was dominant in every position, uh, but that's a really good opponent again. He's really long, and I uh, gave him a lot of, a lot of strength in the length, and uh, props to him. How, how does it feel putting on the McCourt singlet? You know, you got to wear it at Iron Man. You got to, you know, come out here to Powerade, and you know, despite all the, you know, the things that are going on with it, it's like you definitely wear that with pride. I oh, hundred percent. Uh, I love our singlet. Um, it has a lot, you know, a lot. Of deep within a lot of meaning for me and uh you know, they're actually they're pretty sweet too There's a lot of nice designs and uh yeah i just love representing mccord and uh you know it just shows that there's meaning behind my wrestling and, and within there we've had a pretty strong fall it's just a freshman you already have so many accolades now it's just in the last few months super 32 title iron man title power a title what keeps you motivated to keep improving keep moving forward i think uh, there's a few things but i think really one is just my dad i want to throw a shout out to my dad he's the best in the world he's the man he does everything with me he's never ever going to leave me uh hung out to dry or never going to give me not 100 percent. he's he's always there i think my dad really keeps me motivated because he's so motivated uh, but I would just say everyone in the room, you know, my, my family, all my teammates, my coaches, they're always keeping me motivated. And uh, it's pretty tough not to stay motivated when you're able to go out with, with your teammates and perform at high levels. How's the weight for you? I mean, yeah. 14 just seems like the perfect weight for you. And oh, yeah. Fargo, you know, maybe a little bit too right. much. Yeah. And now it seems like the weights, right. you don't have to cut a lot. No, no, it's, it's not too bad. So I made a commitment um, early in the year. I'm like, you know, we, our team's loaded, yeah. right? So yeah. there's really nowhere to go. I could have went up, and that would have that really kind of forced things in the lineup that we don't want. Um, but I made a commitment with my team, with my dad, and I'm like, I'm going to go down. That's my best fighting weight. Um, and so far, my, my body's adjusted. So it, w it was tough the first time in Ironman, but uh, ever since, it's been fine. And, and uh, you know, we're, we're spreading out just enough and uh, not having any, like, one verse two in the country wrestling off in, in your high school. So. Talk about just the team in general. Jeff Jacks. Mason a little banged up, but Sam, Devin, Jackson, Butler, yeah. I mean, it, it seems like everyone's coming on oh, yeah. at the right time. I think so, yeah. I'm um, really impressed with Devin Magro. He, uh, he All-American again, back-to-back -back years here. Um, he's getting older. He's going to be looking at colleges soon, and he's, he's one that uh, maybe is like a diamond in the rough that yeah. not many guys are looking out for, but uh, he looked great. His top game looked awesome, and, you know, the other guys, they, they explain for themselves. They're out here battling. And uh, obviously, Jack's getting done beating the world champ, so pretty proud of him too. Yeah, I was gonna say, how what was your reaction like that? I mean, yeah. Jackson. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I finished my cool down a little early. Um, and, and came out though to support, and watch him, and uh, to see him get that done. He's been he's been on a vision quest for the past two three weeks, and uh, really cool to see him make them gains. Next up for you, you know, you got the. Uh Training center, right? Yep, out yep. the training center. Yeah, so I'll be out of the training center. I believe it's ten days um, with Coach Green, Coach Bill Zadick, and uh, that I really like being out there and, and just really all you do is you live, you eat, you know, you sleep wrestling. That's what it is, and uh, that's where I'm at my at my best. So. Well, congratulations, Bo. Sure. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you.